we picked Punta Cana because we got married there five years ago. So on April 18th, uh, we decided, well, that's where we wanted to go back and celebrate our five year anniversary. So, uh, and, and. Are you gonna cry? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> He's the crier, I'm so not. They, they just went out of their way and they, they got us the same hotel room in it. Yeah, no, it, it, it was amazing. With my original diagnosis, it was July 2015. It was uh, very shocking because you don't like to think that there's anything wrong with you, especially something as big as cancer. It was very surreal. It was um, my family doctor, we were in his office. Everything he said, it's like when we left, and we were driving home and then it's like, what just happened? I remember just looking out the window. I was like, he was talking. I was looking out the window, and I was like, "There's got to be something that he's going to say here that's going to change this," and he didn't. After I was diagnosed, met my oncologist, went through all the all the steps. There was chemotherapy. There was surgery. There was radiation, and then uh, we thought we were done with all of that. And then it was about a year later, but a year later is when I, I got re-diagnosed. And it turns out that probably since about the beginning, it had always had moved, but they missed that. So I'd already been living for about a year, year and a half as stage four, but not knowing it, um, which it's almost better not to know, you know, you live a little outside of that. You don't have to dwell on it so much or think about it so much. But now we're in the stages where we, we do have to continue treatment for it and keep that in mind. And going forward, things are very different when you're originally diagnosed with breast cancer to when you're diagnosed stage four breast cancer. You're dealing with it on a daily basis already. And then you find out that, like the doctor said, there's, uh, there's no going back to stage three and there's no stage five. Mm -hmm. So this is, you're gonna be in stage four. So you, 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 you know, like you, you remain tough and you do try to laugh every day and you say, you know what, I'm not gonna let this really overtake everything. You're gonna try to still live normally and try to be as normal as possible. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's there every single day. And then you find out that it's gonna be there every single day. I figured with everything going on in the year, how crazy it's been, my re-diagnosis, all the stresses and everything. I knew our fifth anniversary was coming up, so I thought I'd take a shot in the dark. And I went onto the Melanie's Way website and I printed out the forms and I didn't tell Jeremiah. We did get a call, I think it was a Friday night. I think yeah. it was a Friday night, we were sitting around. Robert called and asked if it was Sarah and he said he was from Melanie's Way and he said, and we, we've selected you and you guys, you're, it's being granted. I was in shock. It doesn't happen, right? It doesn't, it doesn't happen. Like I applied for the thing three weeks before and then this complete stranger calls me up out of the blue and tells me that they're sending us away to celebrate our anniversary in the Dominican. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I, I told my oncologist, I'm like, I'm going away for our anniversary. We're going, I'm making it there. There's not gonna be any medical emergencies. This is not stopping me. And we went. I still don't even know how to explain how it helped us. We got a week of doing stuff that we needed a timeout. And I got to be normal for a week yeah, of just not was, going to appointments yeah. and not having to worry about that. And all, I mean, all we had to worry about was like going for a walk on the beach, hanging out in the pool. Hanging out in the pool. Where are we gonna eat yeah. lunch today, you know? So it was just so nice to be able to go back there because we have so many good memories there, especially from our wedding. Hi guys. It's Sarah and Jeremiah from the Dominican. Um, another beautiful day here. Thank you so much again. We are really enjoying our trip. We're having a wonderful time in the sun. You know, it's a real, uh, real pleasure to be back after five years. It's exactly the way we remember it, and uh, it's just, uh, it's just really, really special. And don't know how to say thank you. Really don't.